Welcome to Hemodialysis Access 101, a web-based interactive learning module that reviews hemodialysis access from a nephrologist's perspective. I'm Namrita Krishnan, and I'm a nephrologist at the Yale School of Medicine and Veterans Affairs Medical Center in Connecticut. I'd like to thank the ASN for giving me the opportunity to present this work for the Innovations in Kidney Education Contest 2018. This module is divided into three main sections. Section one is directed to concept learning. Using animated videos, we will discuss basics of AV access creation and functioning. This section will focus on how to examine an AV access at the bedside, and then how to apply these physical exam skills in diagnosing access stenosis in the dialysis unit. Let's briefly review one such video to demonstrate. If you completely occlude a fistula and block venous outflow, it should cause the fistula to plump up and appear hyperpulsatile between your obstructing finger and the anastomosis. Let's call this segment A. Section 2 utilizes focused patient videos to highlight some key learning points and test some of the physical exam skills the user will have learned in Section 1. The patient videos have inbuilt interactive features that allow the user to review the video, answer questions at various intervals through the video, and then receive feedback similar to what would occur in a bedside teaching session. Let's review one such representative video. The user is asked to review the video. What test is being demonstrated here? User types in the answer and receives feedback. Do you think the fistula has good inflow? Yes or no? Similar videos are used to demonstrate arm elevation test, complications such as collateral veins, pseudoaneurysms, etc. Section 3 contains five simulated cases around common clinical scenarios encountered in the dialysis unit. Let's review one such case. Patient presents with dialysis pressure alarms going off during treatment. You are asked to identify the abnormal parameter on the dialysis screen. Physical examination of the fistula is provided in a visual and interactive manner. Based on the information, you are then asked to come up with a possible diagnosis. You are prompted to think of other ways this patient could have presented. Confirmatory tests and treatment are shown with inbuilt interactive features. These cases are designed to direct the user from the point of patient presentation through physical examination, diagnostic testing, and treatment in a stepwise, visual, and interactive manner. I'm very excited about this module and hope you enjoy learning with it as much as we enjoyed creating it. Thank you for your time.